Hi there, it's me, Susan, with day 13 of the Cancer Club. As promised, I'm out in the country. Here, let me show you a little bit of the scenery. Isn't it pretty? I'm sitting in front of this huge oak tree. Here's some more. I've been uh, hiking for about an hour, so I'm a little sweaty and bedraggled. Um, and thinking about uh, what I wanted to talk with you about today, First of all, I realized that yesterday I didn't give you any report on my actual cancer. I was so busy talking about other stuff. Um, I'm still symptom-free, except for, uh, unfortunately, I have to kind of have to say, a little, little um, butt uh, issues. Sort of like, you know, you can get every now and then. It feels very normal if you're, uh, I don't know, anyway, <laughs> a little diarrhea. A little uh, butt pain, but very, very minimal, and um, no fatigue, and uh, no mood problems anymore. I haven't been searching for uh, whoppers or anything lately, so uh, I do have this feeling that it's all uh, it's all out there, the approaching storm. But I'm not going to uh, worry about it, as I've said before. Anyway, today I thought I'd um, say a few words about why I think. I'm handling this all so well. I mean, aside from the fact that it really is, as cancer goes, so far uh, relatively minor in the cancer uh, spectrum, uh, being as how it's stage one and uh, that I'm being reassured that one round of treatment will get it. But, of course, you know, you don't know that and, uh, and whatever. I'm not going to, I'm not going to minimize my experience, but I just know that, uh, it's easier to handle something well. For instance, I'm not having to think about death uh, all the time. I was right at the first when I was diagnosed, but now it's really more just um, side effects, symptoms, discomfort, um, effect on my lifestyle, things like that. So maybe that's denial on my part. I don't know. But it feels like I've been handling it pretty well. And the thing I wanted to say was the reason for that, I believe, is that prior to all of this, over the last maybe a year and a half or two, um, I had already been trying to step out of my comfort zone a little bit. Uh, to give you all a little history who might not know, um, my husband of 25 years passed away about uh, almost four years ago. And um, so, but my life continued almost as it was. I just didn't have to keep the house quite as clean as I did when he was alive. Um, but it didn't really risk anything, uh, didn't really change anything. But more recently, um, I mentioned to you, for instance, I'm taking banjo lessons. I joined a personal growth group that's been really challenging me to look at some of my, um, my standard ways of holding back from life and, and um, uh, playing it safe. I've already been doing those things, and now I think it's had a big impact on allowing me to cope with this unwanted, unexpected change that uh, is represented by the cancer diagnosis. So what that means for you guys really is start stepping out of your comfort zone now. Don't wait until you're forced out by something that life does, which it's going to do to you sooner or later. Start getting ready for it now um, by taking a risk here and there and changing something that you do uh, and always have done. If you're a person who uh, doesn't speak up in groups, go first the next time they ask for volunteers to make a, a presentation. If you're someone who's always clinging on to other people because they don't like to be by themselves, I don't know, go to movies by yourself. You're not going to die from that. If you talk uh, too much and never listen to other people, try shutting up for a while and see what happens. You might be surprised. If you're somebody who never speaks up, you know, what are you, what are you protecting yourself from? How is that, what's the worst that could happen? I just think if you challenge yourself a little bit more to step outside of the comfort zone, you'll realize that the comfort is really the illusion of safety, and you don't have it anyway. Something could happen at, at, the, at the drop of a hat, and you won't be ready because you're clinging on to what you believe is security of the same old, same old stuff you always do. Um, I really think that it can help you like it's helped me when something really big comes along and um, you're going to have to really adapt whether you want to or not. 
So uh, think about that a little bit. Look at your life, look at your daily routine, and see if there are places where you might just, um, oh, I don't know, if you're a person that holds back, reach out to somebody that you don't usually talk to. Um, there's lots of ways of doing it. And, um, y you know, you don't have to know what you're doing. Just, just take the risk. Okay, well, that's my thoughts today on my, uh, on my hike in the country where uh, under a big sky your, your thoughts kind of get bigger and bigger, I think. And I'm um, happy to be talking to you. I'll look forward to talking to you again tomorrow. And uh, until then, remember to live well, laugh often, and love much. Okay, see you tomorrow on the Cancer Club. Bye.